Hey guys, it's Nicole. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not feeling that great. I have stuff that I need to get done, but at the same time, my room has sort of reached the tipping point of I kind of need to do something about it. But I tend to get a little bit overwhelmed when I have a big project or a big cleanup to do. So I'm going to kind of just decide on something today to work on and sort of just kind of baby step my way through it. I've got three layouts that I have to get done before the end of the month in order to stay current on a challenge that I'm participating in. So that ki cleaning up kind of helps me get motivated and kind of in, in the creative process, I guess, especially when my room is in the current state, and I'll show you here in a second. But um, today I'm thinking that I'm probably just going to tackle my stamps, mostly because they're sort of growing on my desk as far as a pile of them. I am not somebody who puts stuff away as soon as I'm done with it. I wish that I could get into that habit, and it's something that I'm going to have to teach myself to do, but I tend to just kind of let things go until they get to this state, and then it's like, okay, no, we have to sort of start from scratch, we gotta put everything away, everything needs to find a home, and I gotta start over. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe on Wednesdays I will just put up a quick kind of like workspace Wednesday video of this is sort of the state of my room, this is what I'm going to tackle for the day, and um, you know maybe it'll motivate some of you guys to kind of you know fix up some areas of your room or even just go in and find something that needs to be um, you know put away, cleaned up, whatnot. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the state of my room, and again, I think I'm probably just going to work on stamps because it's already contained and they already have a home. So, okay, so this is, I mean, to me, this is pretty normal, like people that have, people that have craft rooms that are gorgeous and there's a place for everything and they always look nice. Like, I get it. For me, I don't know. I have, I have issues. And I'm hoping that this sort of makes other scrapbookers feel better about their mess. Um, and pretty much once it gets to this point, I just, I can't come in here and sort of clean everything up because I know that I'm just going to take, I'm just going to end up taking all of this and sticking it in a drawer, telling myself I'll get to it later. And then it doesn't happen. So today I think I'm going to tackle this. I've got a ton of stamps that are out that need to go in the envelopes. I need to cut cardstock for them. I kind of just need to corral everything, get everything put back in here, and even make sure that this thing is going to be big enough to handle it all. So um, I will probably just kind of check back in when I get done and let you guys know if I finish this or if I ended up you know, doing anything else in here, and again, I hope that this sort of motivates others who are like me and get very messy when they craft.
Okay, guys, so this is pretty much as far as I got today. Um, I pretty much, um, as you saw, I cut down paper for all of my um, envelopes. And the envelopes that I had purchased was, it was just a 50 pack of the Simon Says Stamp brand. And then I just used the cheapy white cardstock from Michaels and cut it down. And then the bigger ones that hold these, these bigger sets. These, I'm almost positive, are the MFT stamps brand because um, I most of the stamps that I needed them for were their stamps. They also work really good for those old Technique Tuesday ones that are like super long and skinny. So I got that done. I left the envelopes open on a couple stamps where I um, did not put one away. And I, I do have a basket where I just kind of toss stamps in. Then you need to check, and hopefully I still have them. If not, I, you know, I can't, I can't really do anything about it. So, um, and then I have to somewhere in my house, and this is gonna sound awful. I have a mailing envelope, kind of like that. I just opened that one, stuffed with stamps that I had purchased from another scrapbooker. She was, you know, was doing a purge, and I bought a bunch of them, got them, never opened the envelope or put them away. So I need to find that, and then I just need to do like a quick run through of my room and just make sure that I don't have any other sort of clear stamps that need to go in here. I do have this one that I'm keeping in here, and I'm keeping it here in the front. Um, this is an old Stamping Bella one, but it's one of my favorite stamps, and even though it is a rubber stamp, and I'm going to keep my rubber stamp somewhere else, I'm keeping it in here because this works for me as far as when I go to pull product. Um... I do need to, at some point, figure out what I'm going to do for dividers. I think I may just do some black cardstock. I don't really need anything, like, heavy-duty. I don't really want to deal with, um, I see a lot of people use, like, the, the plastic, um, like, file folders and cut them down. Honestly, I'm too lazy to do it. I don't want to have to go shopping for anything. I have some cheap black cardstock from Michaels. I think I'm just going to kind of trim it down, do maybe, like, a file tab edge on it. And then just kind of put the manufacturer. Pretty much this side ended up being um, my favorite things. And then Technique Tuesday. And then this was sort of a mix of, you know, a bunch of other brands. So this was sort of the tiny bite of the giant elephant that I need to consume. So this was sort of my project for this Wednesday. Um, if I do find the other envelope... And I do make the dividers today. I will add that to this video and just kind of update you guys at the end.